Hello, welcome back to the control. I almost forget who it is. No, you're not getting to No, it's from the turntable. Wait, we've been there for a second. Oh, hell. Okay, the mannequin should be somewhere here. But from the description, it sounds that he's very aggressive. Anything creepier than one mannequin is a few dozen of the damn things. Oh. Okay, so Alice Wake, Mr. F Wake's wife, was found during the bureau investigation. She was interviewed and evaluated. She showed signs of severe mental trauma in the form of blank memory loss. She was later directed to treatment. It was concluded that she had been trapped in the threshold during its manifestation. Notable individuals still missing after the Bright Falls event are FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale and Dr. Emil Hartman, referred to the creator's dilemma, and the fiery, the Colton Lay Clutch. Bureau researchers believe this event was the result of a forceful perception of subjective reality, stemming from Mr. Wake, overlapping on our own. Wake has been flagged as a potential para-utilitarian see prime candidate program file for more details. In 2011, a book by Clay Stewart titled The Alan Wake Files was published by Roundabout Press, New York and Olympia. Agents interviewed Clay Stewart and suspected minor para-utilitarian sensitivity was placed under indefinite surveillance. A monitoring station was established at Cauldron Lake to alert the Bureau of any future activity. I guess I'm looking for the only one I can... had gone differently in ordinary for us. But wishing won't change things. Ordinary. Finding the projector so will. Coming together in this one case. Uh, a new object of power, something we have not seen before. I mean, coming from me, that's, that's saying something. And the boy, Dylan Faden. Prime candidate six. And the sister as well. 
clever once we catch up with her, but the, the boy had so much potential. We're talking Northmore level readings here. And, and I don't want to invoke his name. It's completely different circumstances here. a valuable member of our team, yes. Excessive force. Dylan has so much. But he's, he, he's just a kid. I, I'll take the blame. He, he, he needs some slack. I mean, boys will be boys. He's exceptional and under a lot of stress. Robert's got killed. It's an unfortunate accident, that's all. Marshall needs to realize this. We will make this work. We'll make this work. Apparently you didn't. Subject was alone during this outburst. You again. I thought I told you to leave me alone. Why are you showing me this? I can't do anything. Can't you see where I am? Why don't you help me get the fuck out of here? You always show me things I can't do anything about. Stop showing me her. I don't care anymore and I don't care about you. You both let me to rot. Get the, the fuck off you. I will dig out my own brains if it means getting rid of you. I don't want you here. Get the fuck message. Subject repeated the phrase fuck off numerous times before being sedated at 17.53. So during 15 seconds. 15 seconds was enough for you to... Okay. Agent killed during blank involving blank blank code name P6. Autopsy findings, blunt force injuries of the head and neck. Extensive trauma of the abdominal region. region. Laceration and contusions will a conclusion. After examination, it was determined that the cause of death's death was an internal bleeding that occurred when the blank was contorted through his blank. Ow. Okay, is there anything else we can... Oh, this is okay. Threshold is episode. Nice. Step into the FBC. I can see you're upset, Meg. Why don't you tell Uncle Mr. Bones what's wrong? I did bad on my clairvoyance test. You can't ace every test, Meg. You see, everyone has different brains. Some brains can talk to each other. We call this ESP. ESP? <laughs> Some brains can lift objects like a baseball. Talk about a fly ball, eh, Meg? <laughs> no interruptions! So who cares if you fail your clairvoyance test? Maybe your brain can throw baseballs, or talk to dead people, or make friends blind. Once we know what your brains can do, we'll know what job to give you. And if your brains are just right, you'll get to 
sit in the big chair. <laughs> Listen for once, or the only chair you'll get in is the one with straps. Okay. Okay. An unconfined threshold manifestation at Cauldron Lake, W.E. resulted in a fictional story written by the author Alan Wake, creating an A.W.E. in which reality was altered to match that of the story though any local and for a limited time. Mr. Kirkland, head of investigation, was alerted on September 13, 2010 by ex-bureau agent Frank Breaker, C. Blank, that an AWE event was taking place in Bright Falls, W.E. Referred to events investigated in 1970, 1976, 1978. Bickerhart received a call from Barry Wheeler, Alan Wake's literary agent, on behalf of Bickler's daughter, Sarah, who was in current sheriff of Bright Falls. A bureau agent, a bureau field team arrived at the site two days later, only to confirm that the event was over. Interviews were conducted, referred to the 1970 Black, Thomas Zane, 1976-1978, Odin Anderson, Thor Anderson. Alan Wake was believed to blank instigator. Eyewitness reports highlight an old light switch, possible object of power, that blank missing. Wake was not found at the scene. Reports claim he dived into the lake, but nobody was recovered in the search. Okay. This one is okay, it's over now. Wait, this is just a way out, so it's Constantly closed. No, it's not. But we've been here. See the remains of guys. Oh, we just entered from the other door. Through the other do door. Okay. Okay, okay. Wait, we can get to the transit corridor. Because I want to see. Oh. Wait. Where's the transit corridor? Is this what Dylan wanted me to see? Is this you? It doesn't matter. It's we you. need to find that projector. Outfit. Nice. All the times I felt paranoid. I was right. The Bureau could have given me the answers, but they just stood by and watched me. I guess it's better than them kidnapping you. Whoa. Subject Jesse Faden. So I was right. We were. We used to play the there beginning. all the time. Me and Dylan. And other kids as well. We loved it. This time, I remember, was different. We found a way in, deeper into it, like. It had shifted. We went inside and that's where we found the slide projector. A dump is a place for lost things. Things that have been thrown away. Did you ever feel that way when you were growing up, Jesse? What? No. Yes. But that has nothing to do with... Was there a slide projector at your home when you were small? Mm, no. <laughs> Those were before your time, I suppose. But your family did look at photos together, maybe. In one form or the other? Maybe. Hmm. When was this? Can you remember? At parties? Barbecues? How did it make you feel? 
Did your parents ever show pictures that embarrassed you? Was alcohol ever involved at these parties? Did your parents drink? Did that make you uncomfortable? No. That's just stupid. Come on. That has nothing to do with this. Nothing. The slide projector, let me ask you this. As a child, did you ever fantasize about worlds inside pictures? Inside a painting? You know, stepping into a painting, into a hidden world, escaping and finding adventure there? Away from your parents? I don't... I... I don't think so. I don't remember. Maybe. I don't know. Basically, kept her. You weren't here, you are out of item. They won't be allowed to. I've read the reports. They know that. They studied what happened in ordinary here. That's the place to start looking. We can go get to the table from here. Okay, let's see what other mission we have because I think we have some. Press the truck jukebox. I'm gonna keep pressing the wrong buttons. No. I think right now we are doing the mission from the face of the enemy. Yeah. Kinda, yeah. Maybe we'll find some. Nice for someone who's explosive, but you huh? is it nice? It's not. I see you, your creepy teeth deliver and raise you a dead dog. Yeah, like a straight up deceased dog. Had a collar on it and everything. It'd been rotting in that box since they packed it up. Go ahead and imagine how that smelled. So don't go whining on me. I wish I got the, to watch a parade of human teeth. Ew. In both cases, ew. Wait. We can use an elevator. To work? No, I don't think it works. It works! Okay. What the hell? I don't really want to go there. What is that thing? That's something new. I'm just looking for a new control point, to be honest. Materialist of recovered ah uh, materials. Yeah. Nothing not that we care about that. Uh, okay, let's use the elevator. Dylan and I were both prime candidates. Experiments. You know. Oh no. Okay, this is a control point. The one we can't reclaim. Why? Wow. 
Okay, do the game back. This. We cannot reclaim this place. Well, I'm more. There's a time turn table. Maybe you should go over there. Oh, hello. Oh, really? Hold on. location. Okay. The page was discovered in an instance of the Ocean View Motel and Casino that was linked into the investigation sector. The page had been pushed into the motel's corridor from under the door with the symbol of a spiral, black. For ten years I've tried to write my escape, only singing deeper. deeper. I used to know where fiction ends and reality begins. Here they are all the same. It's a hideous trap. My every thought made real. Fear. Desire. How can I even know for sure I've escaped and not just lost it in my own fantasy of it? That thought alone can drive you mad. The indefinable words in the scratch out portion. False. Right false? Haunting. Wake. A sudden wake? Light switch. Ocean. Too late. In the final sentence, you've been warned. Okay. okay can we go further? Because for some reason, we cannot interact with that control clear control point, and I am wondering why is that. Undestructible metal. Although it seems that something got this way there. I do not understand why it doesn't work. Let's go back for now. We won't get anything done by running in circles. What a shame. Because I really hope to get some closer control point. So right now I think we need to go all the way to the logistics. What a shame. Yeah, so let's remember that. Okay, I already forgot. Actually, I already forgot how to get back. Um, yeah, no, we don't need to go for that. Six, no, I want out of here. Those places? Yeah, we've been here. So that's it for now. Since I can't get it on, let's go back to our. Oh, we want to go there. Uh, oh, check on Dr. Underhill's progress. That's nice. Okay, if I remember where to go. We want to go down here and straight ahead. No, no, no. Oh, I missed it. Okay, fine, I will kill you. Are you glad? We're really glad that I have to do that now.
Hmm. Okay, where was it? Morning research. Mm -hmm. Central research. Yeah, this is the fastest way. If I remember correctly, and I think I remember it correctly. Now all we have to do is jump all the way down somewhere here. And now we can do it like this. Just slowly go down. Especially since this is simply the fastest way down. Weird. I finished synthesizing the sound. Good, good. Ingest this pill, then go and find the source of the mold. Only there can we begin to understand how to stop it. So you promise I won't end up walking around covered in mold? Oh, the pill will prevent any biological infection by the mold. Take a mystery pill because a rude lady in a hazmat suit tells you to. Yeah, pretty Great much. idea, Jesse. Just take it. Oh, honestly, did you want me to wrap it in cheese? Yes, please. Not the taste, the smell. It stinks in here now. Good. That means the pill is working. The worse it smells, the safer you'll be. Now go. Find the sauce. Hey, uh, I don't think we need to talk about that. Have you worked with Emily Pope? Our paths have crossed. Darling arranged for us to have a coffee. A meeting of the minds, he called it. She's talented. I can certainly see her doing well here. I feel like there's a but coming. But she's drunk a bit too much of the Bureau's proverbial Kool-Aid. She shouldn't be afraid to forge ahead on her own. Science is skepticism. Everything must be questioned before the truth can emerge. Okay, we didn't talk about that. So, is those. Darling your boss? If you insist on clinging to such outdated hierarchies, then... yes. However, I would argue that our fields are too dissimilar for one to manage the other. Of course, Darling would much prefer to find his own miracle solution to the Bureau's fungal frustrations. He always needs to be the hero. So tell me again how you came to work at the Bureau? Well, like I said, I was brought in as a special advisor. A temporary position, you see. Although that's not the whole truth. I was employed here for a time, straight out of university. After a decade of admittedly fascinating work in threshold research and regulation, I began to chafe under the bureaucracy. I needed a change. Not that academia was so different. And then the mold happened. About four months ago, yes. Since my departure from the Bureau, they hadn't been able to find my equal in threshold analysis. Darling and I had kept in touch over the years, meeting at conferences and the like. He called me, and I booked a flight. I've never been able to say no to a man with a dangerous alien biosphere. <laughs> I had to leave my post in the middle of term, but so be it. So she's a professor. That explains a lot. The mold seems to be having some weird effects on things. Indeed. Even people are susceptible. The fungus grows rapidly within the chest cavity, killing the host. Luckily, one must ingest the stalks to become infected. Don't eat the mold. Okay. We've always cremated the infected bodies after autopsy, but I believe there may be another stage of maturity. A blooming, if you will. I never thought the word blooming would sound so horrible. Okay. Thanks for the information. My pleasure. Don't you have any reports around here that I can read? No, okay, so... Before we go investigate the pit... Okay, wait, where is it? Okay, yeah. Director. What? Oh, maybe this is your way of... Could be. Oh, I think this is her way of going goodbye. Mm, we will. 
was a second or like a little bit of break. Pit. This must be the pit Underhill was talking about. I mean, like all the way down there. <sighs> okay. Yeah, all the way down there. <laughs> oh, we still need to find the rubber ducky. There are little nine. There are little nine. It was supposed to mean good things. <laughs> yeah, because it's getting darker. We don't have slots anymore. Oh no! Oh. Need to get rid of those. Get rid of this and this and wait and this and this. We have level four equipped and thirty-nine, forty-two. Okay, so we can get rid of this and this. And this, and we need to actually. Oh, we're doing that. We have to change this one. To this one. We wanted to get rid of this one. And this one. We have one. I have it. Oh no, I have the wrong one. Equip. No, I don't want to get this. This. Okay, now let's pick something new for charge. I don't see anything repeating. Oh, I saw something. Yeah, this one. And with this one, we have a better one. And this we can get rid of. They all look the same. <laughs> This one is 34, 34, so it doesn't matter. That's level 3. Can't you just get rid of the level 1, 2, and 3, like... Automatically? Tracy, projectile speed, depth. That's my name. Okay, can we have... Can we change something? Maybe this one? And, uh, yep, we can exchange this one. Nice. So HP with this. And this one, we don't have anything to change it. Okay, anything else? With this one? Yeah, we can exchange it. Where is it? Here it is. It's absolute. Okay, and it seems that we have everything nice. Ooh, so we have four tokens and some taste files and some multimedia, which we saw. Okay. He was farting. Whoa, 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 no, 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 get away, get away. Please comment on this file. Okay, this is the box. This is the way we came from. Go so here.
Ramsey and Ranger Captain Note 7.28. Wait, uh, 6, 7, uh, whatever. Still in the fresh mold? Oh, he's straight up eating the vegetables now, because, well, why not? Mom said, eat your vegetables. Eat too many and your skin will turn green. Green like Ollie's. <laughs> hey, Ollie, what'd you find now? Okay. Oh, I broke. Uh, okay, but I guess that's gonna be it for today. <laughs> oh. No, thank you very much. I'll leave you here with those crypt mannequins. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.